welcome to another presentation of Tech for Everyone, free training in tech provided by tsquareg.net. If you've got a question about tech, email us. We'll try and answer you. Today's presentation is about hard disks. We've got a couple of questions we really need to answer. What's the difference between an HDD and an SSD? What storage bus technologies are available? And what speeds can we have on an HDD? DD and an SSD. Let's see if we can find out. An HDD, of course, stands for a hard disk drive. It's a very old technology, but still very, very popular indeed. Data is stored on metal or glass platters coated with magnetic material, and we've got read write heads that exist above and below each platter for reading and writing the data. Now you may think that these read-write heads are in contact with the platter, but because the whole thing is spinning at very high speed, the read-write heads rest on a cushion of air. Here we have a photograph of a typical HDD, or at least what you would see if you opened one up. And you can clearly see the platters, there's more than one here, and you've got the spindle, which spins it like an old 45 record. There's the arm, and right at the end there you have the read-write head, and you've got the actuator over here, which is responsible for moving the arm itself. We've got a close-up of the read-write heads, and you can clearly see that they exist above and below each platter, which means that they're going to be writing data to the same corresponding position on each platter, which is very important when it comes to talking about cylinders. The read-write head itself contains a tiny electromagnet which magnetizes the material on the platters, and this is the technology behind the storage of data on an HDD. When it comes to performance, one of the very important things to consider is the speed of the HDD, how fast it's spinning. It's not the only factor, but it is an important one. Speed is measured in revolutions per minute, and the rule of thumb is that the faster, the better the access time. Now, typically for a PC, a hard disk drive will have an RPM of 7200, and that's okay, but there are others that can go all the way up to 10,000 RPM. We also need to consider the internal transfer time, that's the actual read-write time from the disk, but also the external transfer time, the time it takes to shift the data from the hard disk to the CPU. If you're planning on taking the CompTIA A+, you also do need to know something about the different form factors. A typical desktop PC will have a hard disk form factor of 3.5 inches and a laptop 2.5 inches. And you can see them side by side for comparison. A completely different technology is the solid state drive. You'll notice in this photograph there are no platters, there's no spindle, but we have all of these memory chips, flash memory. That's where the data is stored. Because it has no moving parts, the read-write time is very, very fast indeed. It is quite expensive compared to the HDD, but we are seeing more and more laptops with solid-state drives. Now, when we want to connect an HDD or an SSD to the motherboard, we need a drive controller and we need a cable. One of the older technologies is the PATA, the Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment. You can see a photograph of the typical cable. It's got 40 pins and 80 wires within the cable itself. And this type of technology was used on older motherboards that had two drive controllers. That meant you could support a total of four drives. How do we figure that out? Well, this cable itself 
has a connection for two drives. So it's two drives per cable, giving us a total of four drives if we've got two drive controllers. To ensure the correct attachment, because you've got all these pins and you don't want to bend pins, you don't want to damage anything, we've got a couple of things to help us. There's a red stripe along the cable and that indicates the location of pin 1 and the connector itself is keyed, which means it can only go in one way. For all its goodness, the PATA connector only gave us a maximum of one gigabit per second. Fast, but there's something faster. And that is the SATA, the Serial ATA. It's a seven pin connector up to a meter in length. And of course that allows for a lot of flexibility. The data travels serially, but very, very fast indeed. In fact, it's faster than Pata. The discs that make use of a SATA controller are also hot swappable and that simply means that you can remove and replace a hard disk without having to power down the PC. Very useful in server situations. And they currently support a maximum speed of 6 gigabits per second. Very, very fast indeed. So, in summary, an HDD has moving parts, platters, a spindle, an arm, an actuator, read-write heads. The SSD has no moving parts because it uses flash memory. It's very fast, but very expensive. And we've got two types of drive controllers that we may encounter. The older PATA cable the 40-pin cable, the red stripe for pin 1, and the SATA cable, a 7-pin cable that's hot swappable. Okay, I want to thank you for listening to this presentation of Tech for Everyone. For more videos, please check out the website and also check out tsquareg.net forward slash training to download a free study guide. Thank you for listening and goodbye.